there's two promises that I will make to you today and that's that I won't use any long scientific terminology and I won't show you anything that's gross. Don't be thrown off of the color because it's not what you think it is. This is actually the bugs and the sludge they produce. It's not, uh, it's not poop. So, I thought I was going all day without saying that word, but that's what it is. This is the largest wastewater treatment plant at Shenandoah National Park. Skyland has a wastewater treatment plant. Big Meadows has one. The smaller campgrounds like Loft Mountain and uh, Matthew's Arm, they, they don't produce as much flow. It's just a seasonal campground. So those are smaller outdoor plants. We do have some, it, some areas in the park that uses septic tanks. They're, they're few and far between, but it's just because we don't have a collection line that will run to a, a, a local wastewater treatment plant. They're remote, so they're on septic tanks. That's, that's another part of our wastewater duties is yearly we look at these septic tanks and say, hey, does these need to be pumped? Are they efficient? Or the, is the concrete intact? Um, there's a, it's a different aspect for what we do as wastewater treatment plant operators. The, the biggest kept secret here at Shenandoah is that we as wastewater operators we actually don't treat wastewater. Our job here is to make sure the microorganisms that we like to call bugs, all my bugs in there. We come in and check the bugs. The bugs have to be happy because if the bugs aren't happy, they don't stabilize the waste from the very young ones to the very old ones. And when I talk about the perfect age, Right in here is the perfect age. Too many of these is not good. Too many of this is not good. But if you can maintain the middle, that's gravy. This is our certified laboratory. You can see instrumentation for the way we check for DO, pH, everything we do in here, again, is to see how our bugs are doing. We are treated as a large commercial lab, even though we're teeny tiny, we still have to comply to all the regulations just like we were a large laboratory in a big city. So, which is tough sometimes, but, but uh, we do it. So, it all begins in our very own digestive system because we ourselves have tiny little wastewater plants inside of our bodies. We have bacteria, we have enzymes that take food we eat and it tears it apart and it uses some and then it settles out. And then when we um, rid ourselves of excess food, we also rid ourselves of those enzymes and some of that bacteria. Well, the bugs here, that's just what they're waiting for. That's their food source. Here at Shenandoah, we treat water, we give it to you, but we're also here available when you give it right back. So, what you see here coming in this pipe, that's actually coming down the collection lines as raw sewage. We don't have people in the lodges, so more than likely this is just from them doing laundry or cleaning the kitchens or stuff like that. The cool part about the filming right now while we're shutting down is that nobody else has got to see what you guys are getting to see. They usually see full tanks and everything rocking and rolling, but today I get to show you guys what's behind the scenes. I can explain what a clarifier is and I can use the hand motions, but nobody, nobody really truly gets to see that. Y'all do. Look in here. This is the clarifier. This is where the bugs come from eating and breathing. They settle to the bottom because they're fat and happy. Those flights on these chains, they run around and around and they push all those bugs right back over there. This 
air pump picks those up and sends them right back to the beginning of the aeration tank where there's lots of air and more importantly, there's lots of food. So that's the bulk of what we do as wastewater operators. We're bug sitters. We're highly skilled, technically trained bug sitters. And, and if we do our job correctly, they do their job correctly. It's an honorable time when I send bugs to the digester. I stand over there, watch them go in, and I thank them. I say, you've done such a good job. I couldn't have do my job without your service. It's, it's kind of a thing where I honor them. Everybody rolls their eyes, but it works. It works, it's like Tina and her bugs. So it's honoring the process. It's honoring it from the beginning until the very end, and I say goodbye. So. <laughs> Inside these containers is eight UV bulbs, UV disinfectant. So if by chance something has made it through every process in here and it's still alive, it goes through here, which kills anything that's living. And it comes in over here. And this nice, clear, clean effluent and then it's gravity fed into Lewis Falls. We have uh, college students that come here usually about twice a year, and they go down to where we discharge into Lewis Springs, and they do a lot of sampling uh, for different things. Uh, and I think they're trying to catch us, but they have yet to find anything wrong, so. It's good for them. They, they first come on a tour here, and then they say, uh-huh, we're gonna go check your levels. And then they go down and check my levels, and I smile, because I know it's gonna be good, so. <laughs> Take two. Oh, I just feel like Hollywood. I have an incredible staff here. I can't say enough about them, how good they are. They're dedicated because it takes a, a special dedication to do the right thing when you work alone because normally you are by yourself. When the pandemic started, the guidelines were to wear PPE, to wash your hands, uh, to stay away from each other. That's what we do every day. It's pretty, it's pretty wild because it didn't change our, our world too much. We wash our hands constantly. We use hand sanitizer constantly. We work normally alone. Now today there's two people here, but that's because we're shutting down. So the hygiene part is instilled in us because of what we, what we have to deal with raw sewage. So on another note here, be careful what you flush down the toilets. When you flush a chemical or, or anything that you think, oh, it won't matter, this is a little paint thinner, I need to clean my brush out, let me wash it down the sink, all that is detrimental to my bugs. To me, sometimes we don't get noticed. We don't get noticed until somebody flushes the toilet and it doesn't go down. Almost 15 years of water and wastewater I have never ever met another person who said, I think I'll grow up and be a wastewater treatment plant operator. That's really my goal in life. It kind of happened by accident, a very fortunate accident. I was in another park a few years ago and the guy who did water treatment, and wastewater treatment would start teaching me little things here and there because I was outside a kind of an outside campground so he needed somebody to help keep an eye on the water and the wastewater so between mowing grass or cleaning restrooms I would pick up extra duties and I got a phone call from my supervisor on Monday morning and said I need you to come to my office and I was like oh what did I do I don't know what I did so when I got there he said Tina this person has quit and he says, you're the only person who knows what's going on. And I was like, well, we're in trouble because I, I, I'm not sure I know what's going on. 
So they said, we need you to do what you do, what you know to do. And by the way, we need you to go study and we need you to get a water license and a wastewater license. As long as you study water treatment and wastewater treatment and pass the exams, you have a career in wastewater. And we all know wastewater's not going anywhere because we will always flush toilets. You have wastewater plants in every town you go to and you have wastewater treatment plants in, in most parks, national parks, and what cool place to work. I get to work in the wastewater where people come visit every year. They spend all their years trying to take, save their money to come here where I get to work. I saw green and gray when I was young and I thought, I don't know what they do, but I wanna do that. In fact, two of my operators, I stole from other divisions. Sorry, Ellie, and I'm sorry, trails and buildings. But they had an interest, they asked to come cross train. And I said, absolutely, anybody could come cross train. And they said, hey, we really like this. Little did I know, wastewater would become my passion. And a lot of my friends that hang out with me get so tired of hearing about wastewater, but I think it is the most awesome job there is. And the best thing we can do for the environment, we can take sewage, nasty sewage, and turn it into a quality of water that can be chlorinated and consumed. It's, it's, there's just nothing more rewarding to me.